Well, President Museveni has fired back at the members of the EU Parliament, saying that they cannot lecture him on what to do in Uganda. But they think they know everything, broadcast their ignorance all over the place. You, you, you are lecturing me what, what to do in Uganda, you young girl. Well, there you go. That is President Museveni calling the EU members of parliament young girls and boys. That and much more is coming up in this other round of stories making headlines in the country. This is the Buzz UG. My name is Melad Milo, aka Fuller. Subscribe in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, in the recent days, NUP supporters have been abducted by security operatives for criticizing a number of issues happening in this President Museveni's government. However, the Internal Affairs Ministry has maintained silence on these abductions just like the Parliament of Uganda has kept silent despite the outcry by Ugandans on different social media platforms. Now, this silence has prompted the NUP president, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Shentamu, aka Bobby Wine, to use his social media platforms to demand for all the abducted people, especially those who were abducted before and after the 2021 general elections. If you follow Bobby Wine on his social media platforms, he's doing a very great job right there of demanding for the abducted people. And actually, yesterday on the front page, Daily Monitor indicated that the drones are back. Now, a big section of Ugandans are wondering why it's only Bobby Wine of all opposition leaders demanding for the release of all the abducted people and why not the members of parliament joining him as well. However, the Minister of ICT and National Guidance, Honorable Chris Bariomusi, responded to NUP that if their people are missing, they should report to police and allow them to investigate because NUP is using these criminals for their political gain. Now, recently, the EU Parliament passed a resolution calling for the halting of the East African oil pipeline project. However, President Museveni yesterday described the resolution by the EU Parliament as coming from the insufferable young boys and girls. Now, President Museveni noted that these white people are very shallow, egocentric, and wrong on a number of matters, but unfortunately, they still think they know everything. He then insisted that the pipeline project will go on as planned, however much it's been criticized by the EU members of parliament. Now, for the European Union, some of these people are insufferable. You need to control yourself, not to explode. So shallow, so egocentric, so wrong, but they think they know everything, broadcast their ignorance all over the place, but they should calm down. Because this is a, a wrong battleground for them. We, we don't take kindly to arrogance. That's why we, we spent so many years sorting out issues with arrogant people. So the, the, the plan will be implemented according to schedule. When you go to this parliament, these are just young girls, member of parliament. Eh? You, know. you, you, you are lecturing me what, what to do in Uganda, you young girl. <laughs> this guy? Uh -huh. Anyway, I don't know what the EU parliament will reply to him this time around, but let's wait and see. Now, after listening to this statement, the president of NUP, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine, said that all these are signs of a dictator falling. Bobby Wine said all dictators are so predictable and the good thing is that no dictator, however strong, can outlive a country. Now, NUP, through the leader of opposition in parliament, Horrible Mathas Mbuga, has revealed that they are not going to be part in the Iyala elections that are happening tomorrow. 
Now, NUP boycott leaves FDC, JEMA, DP, and UPC as the sole parties left to tussle it out with the NRM party for the nine slots. No, the process is not to arrive at the to right from the beginning. You cannot just jump out. But you can also be nene, but betraying a Gwanga, but betraying a Uganda. Now, one of the seven suspected Ebola contacts who escaped from the isolation unit at the Mubende Referral Hospital has resurfaced at Masaka Referral Hospital in bad condition. Dr. Edwin Okello says the patient is now in isolation unit after fainting on arrival at the emergency ward. He came in and collapsed at emergency. Uh, then he was resuscitated and he woke up. Uh, right now he's talking and he's able to communicate. One of the friends has crossed to Tanzania, the person they escaped with. Then one has, he one stopped at Bunga. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health has confirmed six other cases of Ebola, bringing the cumulative total to 24 cases. And the Uganda Medical Association has recommended to government that the affected districts should have quarantine on them, first of all, to enable doctors manage the situation and also to avoid this deadly disease from spreading to other parts of the country. As Uganda Medical Association, we are recommending to government to have the highly infectious areas, the spots, to have a quarantine on them for a period of time so that we can have at least a, 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 a slowing down of the infection rates in those areas and to avoid these areas having massive spread to other places. Now, lawyers representing socialite Charles Olim, aka C. Papa, together with his wife Shamira on charges of aggravated robbery, have withdrawn from the case alleging failure by C. Papa to pay legal fees. Now, Sipapa and Shamira are currently in Luzira prison after they appeared before the Makinde Magistrates Court on allegations of robbing 1.6 billion from a South Sudanese national. Now, Robert Rutaro, one of the partners at Elgon Advocates, quoted a figure of 100 million shillings, being the amount they had asked Sipapa to pay for the entire trial, but he has reportedly failed to pay anything. Well, there you go. That's the latest updates coming in from Socialite Sipapa's camp. President Museveni is trending so big time after responding to the EU Parliament. You can also comment on that story as well. But anyway, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.